Alright, so today, right, is our first day here in Bali. So, um, we just landed not long ago. We just had lunch with one of our amazing vendors. Uh, so, we are here at his facility. So, the first day, day one, right, who are we visiting? We are visiting um, Risky. Risky is one of our um, very good um, Indonesian exporter that gives us most of the Indonesian fish that you see in our stores. You will see all the fish that is from here. So, this is where it origins. All the stuff will come here first and then from here it will go over to um yeah to, to our stores in Singapore and then it goes to your tank. So if you guys want to figure out what's behind here, how they actually keep the fish, how they you know acclimate and everything from the fish arrival to packing right today is the first time that I will show it to you guys. A very exclusive back of house tour by the owner itself. He'll bring us around, he'll show us around. So without further ado, right, let's head in and I'll show you guys a bit more. Alright, so here we have Risky, who is the owner of Risky Aquaria. So he will be the one that's going to bring us today on the whole tour of his facility. So, Risky, how long have you been doing this facility already? About seven years. Uh, about, for this year. For yeah. This facility, for this facility. One year. About one year in this facility. But this is not just one year. You have how many years of experience already? Uh, seven years. Seven years of experience in marine fish and marine corals, fish. right? Marine yeah, fish. so this is his first year um, for his own facility so this is the first time we are actually here in Bali to yeah. for him to show us his facility so shall we go inside and see what you have okay no problem we go. okay so as we walk in here so what, what do we see in the entrance here we see this is like packing area uh, new arrival for first uh, for first we, we repack about the the business uh, when when the business new arrival and change your new water okay so we head in so how big is this place mm. <laughs> how big is this place because like uh, to me, this uh, is uh, huge. The aquarium, I have a uh, five hundred more than five hundred. Uh, five hundred aquarium. More than five hundred. That's how how big <laughs> I, I don't know exactly. So this place here is five, almost five hundred aquariums inside aquarium, here. Yeah, okay, so most of the fish that we see here are Indonesian fish. Indonesian okay, so you get from all over the region. Yeah, yeah From yeah. all over the the places in Bali as yeah, well as Indonesia. Yeah. Okay, can you show us some of some of the things that you have here? Can we like walk walk around? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, like, like see what 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 can we see? We we, we, we come in, we come in here, we, we come in and see. You know, I I saw something very nice, that one thing that most people like, which yeah. is your powder blue tanks. You guys have a lot of powder blues here. <laughs> like look at this whole place. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just powder blues and yeah, more powder blue. Yeah, like you have so many of them, you have all different sizes of powder blues. Here and there, even to the back, more powder blue tanks over here. Okay, so we next we go into this area here, right? We notice that you got a lot of different things from wrestlers to anteaters to yeah. tanks, butterflies. Look at the amount of tanks you have here. Yeah. It's like have you have the mimic, the tank, uh, uh, tank, yeah. yeah. tank, yeah. yeah. tank. Uh -huh. This is this is nice. I like the yeah, white tail. Buying, buying. Yeah, the bear rim, right? Yeah, the bear, the bear, rim. bear, rim, bear rim. Even the mimics are nice though. The mimics yeah. are very nice. Look at the amount of powder blacks. There's like so many yeah, powder blacks. Okay, you can yeah. You can see about the uh, powder blacks. A lot of uh, powder black I have. Like. Yeah, scopas. Oh, and then there is like more. You know the interesting thing, right? I noticed, right? Even though we are in Indonesia, Pacific side, but we see the Indian Ocean yeah. sailfin tank here as well. So <laughs> we can also find this in your facility yeah, yeah, also. Have, yeah. Like, so it's quite interesting, right, to, to, to see Indian yeah, Ocean right, exactly. stuff over here. Yeah, as you go down, we see a lot of Scopas tank, you know, a lot of, like, butterflies, fox face, you know, oscillaries clownfish. Yeah. This is popular. popular. I think this is one of the most 
Yeah, is this one of the, the most exported stuff? Uh, sorry. Yeah, is it? There's in everybody wants normal everybody wants the... You know, we're talking about tanks, right? I saw one tank that is like literally caught my eye over on the other side. Let's go and see it over there right now. Okay, so come in here. I saw something very, very special though. It's it's a. You say it's a what again? It's a mimic tank. Mimic tank, yeah. Yeah, uh, he said it's a mimic tank family, but we all know that mimic tanks have a lot of different variants depending on where they are. Yeah. They have the yellow, the black striped yeah, tie, the, the yellow ones, and then they also have the the mimic mimic copy after who? Mimic copy after the angels, right? <laughs> yeah, the half black angel, <laughs> the yeah. lemon peel angel, is it? Or some another angel that they copy? But this guy over here, right, is special though. He's yellow, big in size, but then at the same time, his face is a bit blackish brown. So it's kind of very interesting. I think this is one fish that I really do want it though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one fish that probably you guys will see it soon back in Singapore. But I will not show you guys so much on the fish right now. Wait for it to arrive in Singapore, then I will give you guys a more um, closer look on this fish. But let's go to the other side. Um, we have more stuff over there so we are at the final section here of the um the whole facility so you see on my right right this is like he's preparing for all the coral tanks um we're going to do corals here next time right yeah yeah more corals he used to have very nice um and uh, all the rose bubble tips whenever you see those very good rose bubble tips right yeah it's mostly from this region and you get them really quality ones more tanks here over there we have sharks big sharks we have like black tip zebra sharks over on the other side we want to show you something very interesting is that you know like how Bourbonius entails are seasonal over here we have like abundance of them we have a large one here and then we have like a whole school of them like small yeah, over here right. so for for Bourbonius entails when is the season the good time to see them uh well like um october october until january october uh, to january yeah, like five year, uh, five Five, five months, months you five get months, to see okay. them so okay. when is the time you get the smaller size the at the largest quantity as in all for the for the first season we can we can get for the uh, small okay the new season normally smallest uh, will be will become first mm -hmm. and the rest uh, for the bigger but okay okay yeah. so if we want if for you guys out there who want to get bourbonius and tears right if you're looking for a very small size one the good time to get them is now yeah now yeah this period which is like october november is the best time to get the small ones. Once you hit January onwards, right, it's relatively the larger ones yeah, already. One. Yeah, so you'll get that in the larger size. So do note down your calendar if you want to get Bobonus and Tears, right? I personally love them a lot. I, I have them myself. I find that they are very interesting, yeah. very cool fish to have. Yeah. If you want small size like this, this is a good time to get them now. And you'll be bringing in more, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you see. Yeah, so he can get more. So if you guys want it, right? do leave a comment down below you know we will try our best to get as many as we can for you guys so i believe okay so we go over to this side um we will show you guys a few sharks and then the streams area and the packing area from then on so we are at the final final place here where is the shark section so over here behind me right i have one of the very nice black tip reef sharks so this is like one of the most popular um fish most of the shark to keep right yeah and behind that right there's three zebra sharks or you know, some people call it leopard sharks as well. Why that name so? Um, they are when they are young, right? They are black and white, very nice color, solid yeah, black yeah, with the for, white stripes. For the, for the young. Yeah. When they grow bigger, they will start to lose the black, and then they will turn to the spots instead, right? Yeah. The brown with the black. Yeah, That's they, why. They in brown, the color, the color when the when adult. Mm, yeah, so they yeah. get the leopard, the leopard spots instead yeah. from there. Yeah. So we have like huge. All the larger features are here, yeah. and over on this side, you get the all the invertebrates all your streams or cleaner streams and stuff they all go through there and right behind the camera that's like the packing area already so this yeah. is where they will prepare for the whole packing yeah. that will be yeah. moved out so i see a lot of boxes there where are all these boxes going to now so on average like can you roughly tell us how many fish you guys move a day uh a day yeah more than two thousand more than two thousand fishes yeah, a day <laughs> so every day you have new fish coming yeah, in new fish and then new fish yeah. going out wow. yeah, we'll be trying to park every day because uh you see it's uh no that's what i would say okay so yeah almost every day when i get it man. wow so you see like bali is a very indonesia is a very big place with a lot of nice ornamental fish so this is like one of the biggest hub 
here to get all the import export yeah. that stuff there so this is huge man this is like i think it's the first time that we are doing a video yeah. of a full facility to show you guys especially to the hobbies yeah, yeah, yeah. you know this is something that they don't know because yeah, they always see the the fishes come to the store yeah. yeah but they never see the back end on how it actually comes from so you guys got a very good sneak peek on how the whole exporter looks like from there Right, so we come to the end of our day one for our uh, whole um, Bali facility trip, right? So big thanks to Risky for showing us his facility as well as supporting us for so many years on all the fishes that he provides to us and all these fishes that is going to you guys. So if you guys want to see more of his fishes coming in, right? Definitely you guys can drop by any of our stores, you know, you will see all his fishes over there. So really big thanks to have him to accommodate us for the entire day to show us this if you guys like so much more of these contents that we are doing out for you guys we will be going a lot more places to more countries because covid is finally over so yeah. you will get to see more overseas trip from us so if you like anything that we do up for you remember to like share subscribe and i will see you guys soon next i won't say next week anymore but to the next video bye bye yeah.